hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up, stop. This is the WTF episode. We gotta hit y'all with something new. Roll the tape. Yes, sir. That is the brand new intro to Keith's Corner. Now, in the intro, y'all may have noticed that there was a segment that flashed that I have not shown on the show here before. It is Keith's Comps. What's Keith's Comps? Well, I'm a competitive person. I believe competition breeds success. So I am challenging you all to challenge me. I'll come to you. You lay the challenge down. I'll come to you. We'll record it. We'll put it on the show. It could be a sport. It could be a skill. It could be uh, a talent that you have. I'm a quick learner. Um, so I'm willing to challenge y'all to challenge me to do whatever, uh, to do whatever. And, uh, we'll see, we'll keep, we'll keep score and see how many, uh, how many of these segments I can actually come out on top with. It doesn't matter what it is, but as always, before we get started, you know, we can't do anything without the kick of the day. What's up everybody. Welcome to this segment of Keith's kick of the day on the WTF episode. So it's the WTF episode, so I had to go with the What The KDs. There's a, a lot of different What The series of shoes. Uh, there's Jordans, um, there's What The Iversons, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Every Pretty much every player has a What The series type of shoe, but these are probably my all time favorite of them. When you put them on your feet, I mean, you just, you stand out with them. And you, how can you not stand out with these? With the What The Series of Shoes though, pretty much 99% of the time, almost every series of shoe comes with like offsetting patterns as you see here. Um, let's start with, you know, the two straps right here. You can see they're different. This strap right here comes with the all uh, the strap that was on the All-Star Edition of the KD Shoes. The strap on this one comes with the strap that was on the Aunt Pearls, um, which is why it's got the angel wing pattern right here um pretty much what they did with these is they just threw a bunch of the different um past versions of kd shoes and they threw them all in one and i mean it came together very nicely you have the translucent bottoms portions of uh portions of the top of this shoe are even uh glow in the dark um the laces they have the thick mesh laces on here with the mess uh, matching mesh uh top the nike swooshes right here these Nike swooshes are the same ones that came out on the uh, Black History Month KD7s. Um, so as you can see, like there's a bunch of patterns underneath here, underneath the mesh, there's a bunch of different patterns and they come from the eggnogs. Um, I mean, all the different past KDs, they've got a little bit of different uh, patterns from those past ones right here. And then if you look on the inside of the, the insoles right here, just like I said, you know, they have different stuff from the eggnogs. Inside this sole, it says 35 ounces, 35 ounces, 35 KD number, um, the eggnog. And then here, it's got the little space pattern on in here. Just two different, completely offsetting shoes. I love the KD, the what the KDs. These are probably my best. I don't love KD, but I do love his shoes. He does make some great patterns. Get your ass back out on the court. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Keith's Corner, the WTF episode, where everything is not what it seems. These segments will literally have you saying WTF. Don't believe me? Check out this segment of Keith's Kitchen. Or is it Keith's Kitchen? Check it out. All right, Gordon, it's time somebody calls you out on your shit. Here we go. Okay. Is that my toast burning? Really, Gordon? We burning toast? That's how we gonna start off? 
Off to a bad start. Damn, damn, damn I'm gonna set the fire alarms off. I'll be mayo. Damn, Gordon, I know you're in your kitchen, but uh, you look uh, you look amazingly comfortable when you're. Tablespoon of olive oil. Tablespoon, Tablespoon only, only, and the man proceeds to pour a half a bottle. Just sitting underneath the top of a meatball. Coconut milk in. Come on, Gordon, Give you better than that. The out. same towel that you was wiping your nasty hands after touching the meat on, you're gonna wipe the pan out with that? Come on, cross contamination, you donkey. Wash out that pan. We've got that flavor, that flavor, flavor. Flavor. Look at the bottom. Get that pan nice and hot. Just take the back of your knife and sort of beat it down. That starts to release all that lovely sort of fragrance. Nose hair is ain't seasoning, Gordon. Let off the most amazing fragrant air freshener. In with the lemongrass. Chinese spice spice. Okay, okay. Gordon making some ribs, huh? I know these about to bust. Marinade. Huh. Whisk. He ain't, uh, he ain't pull off the membrane. Dress. Ah, that's Sesame all right, seeds. that's all right. He's a, he's a five-star chef. Best no chef in the smart. world. I, he's he's got to probably have some type of method to maybe do it later on. Recent. Any minute now, I know he's going to do it. He can't not pull off the membrane. Recent. That's how you make some fucking ribs. Come on, boy. Slice. Plate. Garnish. You are not invited to the barbecue. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Now, I want to shoot you all out to St. Louis, Missouri, where we visited the city museum. Doesn't sound like it's all that interesting going to a museum. Trust me, this was one of the coolest places I've ever been. It's an, a museum unlike anything else you've ever seen before. Check it out. Everybody, we're here in St. Louis, Missouri at the City Museum. You can see back here, there's a bunch of climbing and jumping, a lot of stuff for the kids to do. They say this is a more adult themed museum, so we're gonna go inside. Let's check it out. Wait for me, Draco. This way. This way, this way. Oh, sorry. People aren't trying to come. Come on. Come on, Draco. You're so scared. Come on. Daddy. Huh? Daddy. What? Daddy. You gotta be pretty little. Daddy. 
Come on, Draco. That's my boy. Come on. Good job. Come on. All right, so we learned our lesson about this place. It is easy to get lost. They told us at the front, kids get lost here all the time because there's all these tunnels, tight tunnels to go in and stuff like that. So we're gonna go in on this one right here. I'm gonna take Drake away with me because, well, I'll do anything and he's probably the only one that can actually fit through here. So let's check it out. Oh. Come on, Draco. Look at this boy. <laughs> this is my boy. Come on. Whoa, crazy. They're like we're ghost hunting again. What? You're cheating. You're standing all the way up. Come on, let's keep going, Draco. Oh. Draco, what? My ass crack is hanging all the way out. Slippery boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, be careful. Go ahead, get up, get up, get up. Go, go, go. Get up, boy. Wait, no, it's okay, it's okay. Oh shit, I'm slipping. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Go, Draco. The struggle was real. Alright, this shit is bananas. Alright, like there's just tunnel upon tunnels in this place that you can go and you can get lost in. Some of these tunnels, like they're just so tight that the kids just run in. The kids can just run in and the parents can't go after them. I'm trying my best to go through each one. I know they want to have fun and go through every single slide. But some of these are very, very tight as you can see. I had to push Draco up one. Uh, it, was, it was a tough, tight spot, but it's very, very easy for your kids to get lost in because there's tunnels upon tunnels. Some that you don't even think, you just gotta keep your eyes peeled for them and look, uh, and look for them, so stay tuned.
Gotta have a strong back to come to this place. Legend has it that's the footprints of the kids that got lost here and never made it out. If you've ever played Batman games, these come in clutch. If you know, you know. Some men in black type shit right here. You think they're getting hot? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god.
I can't find an elevator to get down to the first floor, so I'm literally just trying to find my way through this maze. Oh, you know, we got to go. All right, so we made it to the rooftop. Check all this stuff out. There's just hidden tunnels everywhere, even up here on the rooftop. Let's see where it goes. If only I had a marker. Those days are long gone, though. Holy rusted metal, Batman. Oh, fuck. Put y'all back in my pocket.
All right, y'all, that's all from here at the City Museum here in St. Louis, Missouri. That's all my back can handle, but there's a lot more to see here. So, but my body is telling me it is time to go. The kids need a nap. They got tired out. They got a good workout. This place, man, let me tell you. A1, I co-sign off on this. If you're ever in St. Louis, bring your kids here, bring a family here. It's a good time. Now, I'm gonna shoot y'all back out to Keith on Keith's corner. Get y'all ass back out on the corner. What's up everybody, welcome back. Now I'm gonna shoot y'all out to Keith's Cosines. Or is it a Cosines? Check it out. Welcome to this Keith's Cosines or Uncosines, I should say, here on the WTF episode. Now people often ask me, do you just co-sign off on any, everything that you buy? Fuck no. I actually give everything an honest review uh, if I'm buying something, if I'm taking, if I'm investing money into something, no matter what it is, I'm going to always, whether I do it for the camera or not, I'm going to always give something an honest review uh, because I don't want to be wasting my money. So with that being said, let's get into the three pot products that I've tried recently that I have not co-signed. All right. So the first product that I do not co-sign off on, I think I'm going to get a lot of backlash for this one because uh, I know they're actually like a very loved company or whatever but Goalie apple, apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. Um, I'm somebody who I do, you know, if you're into the health kick and uh, fitness world and something like, uh, stuff like that, you know that um, people believe a lot in apple cider vinegar. I'm one of those. Um, I drink some apple cider vinegar every single day. Um, it's good for your digestive health and all that other stuff, but there's not a lot of people who can muster up like the taste of it. So that's where... The goalie came in they started um, taking apple cider vinegar and making it into a gummy form um, which I'm not gonna lie they were good it was um, good and everything like that I just feel like for the price point and how many you got uh, in this one it came with 60 pieces but to get your actual daily amount of what you should be getting to get the full effects of it uh, I, well, I believe you got to take like yeah take one or two gummies three times daily um, so by the time it's all said and done, this bottle goes super quick. And I think the I think these are like $20 a bottle, uh, maybe even more than that. Um, it's just honestly just cheaper if you just suck it up, down some apple cider vinegar, and be done with it. It'd be a lot cheaper um, than buying this because with, with taking these, I didn't feel the same effect with that. So for that reason, Goalie Gummies, I do not deny it. off on you. All right, so the next product that I did not co-sign off on, again, if you've heard of them, I think I'm going to get some backlash from uh, from some fans of these people, but uh, Flavor God Seasonings. I tried them, and honestly, look, great company. I think they're a great company. I think they got some great flavors of their seasonings. When I first uh, went out and I got them, there's a they have a bunch of different seasonings that you can buy for your food, uh, for your coffee, and for di different stuff like that. So when I went out and uh, initially tried, I went and I got a bunch of different flavors. I got bacon flavored, I got lemon pepper, I got a cinnamon roll that they said was good to put inside your coffee. This one's a pizza flavor. Uh, so it was good, you know, I was trying on everything like with the pizza flavor, I was like, oh, let's mix the flavor, uh, pizza flavor with some off the wall stuff like wings and we'll put it on chicken and everything like that, right? Uh, and to be honest, flavor, just wasn't there to be called flavor god i really expected you know full robust flavors the ones i poured in my coffee i hardly tasted i wound up still having to go uh and put sugar in it uh which is one of the things you know flavor god they claim claim to be healthier because they use less sodium all natural products and stuff like that and but to be honest every time i use their seasonings i would always go wind up going back and putting more of another seasoning on there just because I felt like the flavor wasn't there. Um, I'm sorry, Flavor God. Denied. I'm not co-signing off on you. And my last uncosign is these as seen on TV laundry balls. This one's even turning yellow. It's kind of gross. But if you've seen the commercials for these, um, they tell you this is the last uh, detergent that you'll ever have to buy. You put these, you put these little balls inside of your uh, did inside of your washer 
and you'll never have to put the detergent in, in again. If you all hear that, it's got all these type of, uh, I don't know, type of cleaning rocks or something inside. And supposedly they naturally clean the water that your washer is in and it eliminates the purpose for you having to use detergent. Um, and it, But these are only good for X amount of washes. I don't know, like it, I think they said like every 50 washes or so, right? And then the, the way that you can reactivate this is just leave it in the sun. Leaving it in the sun reactivates the powers, magic powers of the little rocks inside. And then you're good to go again for another 50 and you just keep going. But to be honest, me being the clean freak that I am, I just cannot trust this to clean my clothes uh, without using some type of soap or detergent. Um, there may be some, some some type of science to it where maybe this does work. Maybe this is the solution, but for me, I just needed something. And it's not even the scent because I use dye-free, scent-free soaps. So it's not even that. It's just the fact that I just, I don't know. I, I couldn't just throw this in there and leave it on good faith that this was going to uh, clean my clothes the way I expect. So for that reason, as seen on TV, laundry bowl, Denied. I did not co-sign off on you. And the last thing that, um, so this is something, if you remember back to the tribute to the 90s episode, uh, I had used a microderma roller thing to help grow some facial hair. Um, and I said I couldn't even, at the time, I couldn't even give it a thorough uh, cosign because I hadn't used it yet. Well, now I have, I have completely ran through the hair serum, the beard serum, hair growth serum, whatever. Um, I've completely used it all. And I'm proud to say that I've grown a sideburn. So with that being said, I'm going to post up some pictures of the before from back when I did the throwbacks in the 90s episode to what my face looked like then and what it looked like now. Um, I think the main issue is just that I'm never off for long enough for me to be able to grow out my facial hair. Um, luckily, I've been off for the past week. So this is just a week. I really don't know what I can grow <laughs> longer than that. Maybe it's even better, but I do have... A little bit of sideburns growing in that's more than i ever have so i don't have a full-on beard but it is something and it is something more than what i have so i told y'all i would revisit it there you go you see the results there so for that i will co-sign off on that get your ass back out on the floor hey what's up everybody welcome back now, people often ask me, hey, how long does it take you to record these episodes of Key's Corner? And the truth is, not long. I'm one take Jake, baby. Um, come back. Where? And bit of toast to y'all and kick y'all out to Keith's Crabs. Episode, it doesn't get any sweeter than my two younger daughters, Melina and Isabella. Say hi, girls. Hi, hi. Okay. okay, do it again. When you all talk, you have to talk over here, okay? Twenty minutes later. It doesn't get any sweeter than my youngest daughter, Isabella and Melina. Say hi, girls. Lemon mint. Lemon mint was that scent that I put together, and they're uh, they're pretty good. They're durable. Promise you they're durable. Mm -hmm. And then um, I guess this is such a uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Such a uh, craze. No. This is such a uh, uh, pro. It, this is. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
brought back a lot of memories. Um, brought back a lot of memories. And, oh no, I'm gonna end it. Hot. Uh, brought back a sweet tooth, and it doesn't get any. Uh, well, That's all from here on this episode of Key's Corner, the WTF episode. I appreciate you posting up with your boy. I'm Key, and you just got cornered.